Yeah, I totally think there is room for all of us. Yep. Yes. Uh, yeah, for sure. I don't mind sharing a piece of the pie. Who's that? <laughs> they call me Sea Dance. Sea Dance. artists we meet again and yet with another video model i can barely keep up as you saw in the intro c dance 1.0 is live at open art this is an ai video model done by the company bite dance now if we head over to the video tab on the left under both text and image to video, you will find C-Dance 1.0. Now I did want to point out quickly that there's also a cheaper light option, or you can do five or 10 seconds in both 480p and 720p. And then there's the pro version where you can do five or 10 seconds at 1080p. Now, the first thing I want to take a look at is very unique, and that's the multi-shot capabilities. If we look at this example, we see the camera zooming in tight, and then it shifts to a zooming out perspective all in one shot. This is a 10 second clip, so it has enough time to do that, right? If we take a look at the prompt, we see here the trigger is the camera switches between close-ups of his pencil strokes, wide angle shots of the studio space. However, that's not the only way to get these multi shots. In this example, multiple shots is at the front of the prompt to get this type of effect. And as per usual, all the prompts I'll be using today to show you these demo clips will be linked in the description below. Here's another example of the multi shot where the camera pushes in, focuses on the wheel, and then changes perspective to wide angle, showing a front view perspective with the camera tracking his movement. And another example using the word shift from one camera to another. And there are many use cases for this. And I'm sure there are other ways to do this, but those are four simple ways to achieve the multi-shot effect. Next, we're gonna take a look at a few common styles. One of my obvious favorites is Pixar. And we see with this clip, not only is it colorful, it has that typical Pixar style, but the interaction between the robot and the blocks there is really good. However, that's not always the case. Sometimes the interaction doesn't exist. You just have to be mindful for prompting for that interaction. Otherwise, you might find that sometimes a subject just walks through an object, right? Now, this one was supposed to be claymation. Now, it doesn't look like traditional claymation. You know, it's got all that texture to it. Now, I can't say that it's a total success for the claymation style, but I do like the look of it. It's very playful and colorful. We also get that multi-shot effect here as well. This one I found was more on the artistic expression side. I like that he's floating over the water and the flower opens up around him. So this model can do surreal type scenes as well. As for anime, it tends to lean towards traditional anime. And as you see here, it keeps the consistency while it again does that multi-shot effect. And it even has that, you know, 12 to 16 frames per second look. But I would say on like Studio Ghibli anime styles or Akira, I haven't had any success with it. But then again, I haven't spent a lot of time. It's only been a couple of days since we got this. So let me know in the comments if you've figured out how to do specific anime styles. But where this model really shines, and I guess similar to the other models, is the cinematic look. I find that this model is just as good or equal to Hilo or Kling. Moving on to facial expression and emotions, we have a woman here crying. Who knows what happened? Got in an argument with her hubby or her boyfriend. Maybe she got dumped. I don't know. <laughs> what I noticed about this is that we see the tear on her right side of her face come down. Now, it does look a bit exaggerated, like it's almost gel-like. 
But if I didn't point it out, you really wouldn't notice. We can see the tremble in her body and that she's clearly upset. So even the wrinkles in her forehead there when she closes her eyes, very believable. How about something a little more positive with a bride-to-be fixing her hair? She's smiling in the mirror as someone from the wedding party walks in. But yeah, it looks like a typical scene before someone gets married. For me, this one looked the most believable. The way he scratches his head, the smile on his face, the dimples, the wrinkles, and even when he puts his hands together. And at the end of the clip, that last smile there. For a while, a lot of the AI video models had that fake plastic look, especially when smiling, but it looks really natural here. Next, we're going to take a look at camera and motion, and we're going to start off with this low aerial shot from behind of these race cars on this desert like racetrack with pyramids looks very cool this is one of my favorite clips of a skier on a ski slope and looks again very natural the way the snow sprays the movement very graceful and smooth motion. Now this one hits close to home. We've got a drummer here and it looks like he's on time, but he's got the eight notes on the hat. It looks like he's hitting two and four, maybe doing some ghost notes and we could see his bass drum probably doing like a four on the floor type of beat. I wish I had put some audio to this. It would have been really interesting to hear it. Here we've got a low angle shot from the front of this tiger and I like how the camera stops here and as he roars and goes the other way the camera starts to pan left and follow it so that's very cool as well. First person perspective of these steampunk aircrafts in the sky. Kind of fun little clip to put together here. Another tracking shot but except a little bit faster of this motorcycle group speeding down the city and you'll notice that the background isn't jumbled if you look at the motorcycles in the background they look uniform they look complete it's not like they're jumbled up and you can't decipher what they are i can really appreciate those little details now in terms of action and dynamics this is where i find that this model is kind of weak in if you look at this action scene with two kung fu fighters here they're kind of just dancing around and when he does get hit he kind of just flops there but i've tried various ways for them to to fight and hit each other, but I get the feeling that in their data set, this wasn't a focus. I tried it in various scenarios here. You see there's a rooftop chase here. I don't know why the cop's hand is up in the air. And he does make that one leap, but he just runs through these uh, obstacles. He jumps there. So it's a bit hard to control. Then again, it could be my prompts as well. I just haven't had the time to figure it out. In terms of prompting, you can't be too simple, but I also find that you have to be very specific with every little motion that you want. Again, I tried to get these gladiators to fight and uh, yeah, it's kind of comical. It's like the other guy in the armor is just teasing him like, try to hit me, try to hit me. Come on, let's go, let's go. But we see the trident-like weapon doesn't really touch him. It does go through him a couple times. So yeah, now this had me cracking up on the floor this was supposed to be like a alternative choreography type of dance <laughs> and they're just doing this weird body shoulder movement thing i mean the camera switching looks great but i also find with dancing not the best model at least from what i've seen so far even tried the whole skateboard thing and he's jumping off the skateboard he does finally do a trick about here there you go, but it kind of looks a bit strange. And if you go to their website, you look at the demo that they did for a skateboarder, it's not as good as the dynamics of Hilo. Now it's quite puzzling to me too, because if you look at this clip with the boxer practicing on the heavy bag, I mean, the motion looks great. You see the impact on the bag. It's just when you put more than one person together and want them to fight or interact, that's where the model is kind of weak. Just a reminder that this is just text to video and you know me, I like to test 
the text to video portion because it tells us what image to video can do. Other than the lack of those action dynamics, aesthetically, it's a beautiful model. The motion is smooth. Everything that I said, I'm not going to get into it, but man, all these amazing models that are coming out, Clean 2.1, High Low, VO3, it's only going to get better. Could you imagine what it's going to be like next year and years to come? As always, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't tried the other models on OpenArt, make sure to check out these videos right here. Until that next video, my friends, happy creating.